You already know how to tie the knot that I'm going to show you today. You know it as the diamond knot or the Chinese button knot. It's very commonly used in paracord projects of all sorts. Um, but I'm just going to be changing how we tighten it down, and it's going to change the way it looks. Let's dive right in. There's many different ways to tie this knot. I like to do it in my hand. Um, this is the way that we've done it on the channel before. I'll just take it and loop it around. I like to do middle finger and ring finger, and then grab our right side cord and make a loop across the top. And then we actually fold that upwards so that our working end right here goes underneath the standing end. Then grabbing this bottom cord, we'll bring it underneath our right side cord, and then over this first one, under the second, and on top of the last one. And that brings us to this Karak Bend knot, a nice Celtic looking decorative knot, and it also is a pretty strong way of joining two ropes together. We'll move on from that. I like to bring it up to my fingers here, it makes it easier to work with. For the normal diamond knot, we would take this cord here, and bring it past this ring that goes around my fingers and go up through the middle. But for this version of it, we're gonna skip that step and just go straight up the middle. And we'll leave kind of a, a clover leaf or petal right there. Do the same thing with the other side. Bring that cord straight up through the middle of the knot. So now to tighten it down, normally we'd take it off and pull on both ends, but we want to tighten this into a flat knot. And so we'll face these in opposite directions and just start to work all the excess cord out of there. You can kind of pull the ends a little bit. And as some of these petals get a little bit too big, you just have to feed the, all the excess cord through until it comes at one end. It kind of looks like a mess right now, but I've actually had pretty good success with this knot turning out each time. So we'll speed through that and show you what it looks like when it's all tightened down properly. Okay, so we've actually been looking at the bottom of this knot the whole time, but if we turn it right side up, we've got this nice flower pattern. So while this knot looks a lot different than the, the round diamond knot, it is essentially the same knot. We changed very little other than how we tightened it down. Kind of fun that I didn't realize I knew how to tie this knot until I saw this variant. For reference, here is the normal diamond knot alongside of it. Left a loop on the top of this one, which is pretty common. Um, you can also tighten down that loop. We use it as the head on our Paracord People keychain video. Um, we'll link to that and just the, the standard diamond knot in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. A little bit different type this time. Um, if you want to see more knot tutorials like this, definitely let us know in the comments. And if you want to see something else, let us know that too. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.